Teams allows you to integrate all of your Office applications. Now we showed you Microsoft Word, but another one that would work just as well would be Microsoft Excel. You could also do PowerPoint and work on those together. Um, and then other Microsoft applications um, like Power BI is available. So you can have a bunch of data analysts working on the same data set and collaboratively creating new infographics, new charts, and all those things are happening live in real time. And all those things are happening um, auto-saved and, and able to be, you know, commented on and chatted about and shared with other people all at the same time. And you could even pick up the phone and say, I'm tired of typing to you. I just want to talk to you about this. And an example of that is meetings. So I'm going to open up my Outlook app so you can see how that works. So bear with me for just a moment here. And one of the things that you'll see in my calendar view is the ability to create a new Teams meeting. So from here, when I click new Teams meeting, you're going to see the standard Microsoft Outlook meeting setup, but it will allow me to pick folks from the organization and also suggest times when they would be available. So I can see that there's no conflicts between 4.30 and five o'clock. So I could send this along to them and all that they would have to do when they receive this notification is click join Microsoft Teams meeting. Teams opens up and video and audio will just start working. In addition, I have an audio conferencing license. So a user that gets this invitation would be able to call this number and enter the conference ID and just join on their phone if they didn't have Microsoft Teams. Now, you'll notice this conference ID number it actually changes every time, even if it's a recurring meeting. And the reason for that is because from a security standpoint, if you're changing your conference ID number each time, it reduces the ability for somebody that was in the meeting before that shouldn't be in the meeting now to just enter it without anybody knowing about it. In addition, we can have a lobby set up so that when new users are joining the meeting, the host actually has to allow them to come in. Uh, so it just, again, it's another level of security. And if you were to go back to your Teams client, I'm not gonna save my changes here. And I'm gonna share my desktop on this side one more time. You'll see that my calendar is the same over here in Teams. And I can right click, I can send a meeting invitation right from in here, um, or I could actually even do it from the Teams window.